Hey guys, how's it going? It's Lady Fantastic. Um, just wanted to come and talk to you guys briefly. Um, so I, I did go by the comic shop today, but it wasn't until like 1 p.m. I didn't leave work until a little later. And, um, you know, there were books I saw that I could have picked up, but I just put them back because tomorrow that same store is having 20% off everything store-wide. And I've got every faith that they're going to restock in the morning and I'm just going to come back in the morning. But I did pick up three books when I was there only because either there was like one left like this Thanos, which actually came out like last week or the week before or something. It was a minute ago, um, but I hadn't gotten it. So I did pick up that and um, then I got a couple of back issues. And then I want to talk to you guys about something and it's just based on my own personal observations which is necessarily anecdotal and um you know i would i would like to see if like you know you guys have observed any similar trends or if where you live you've made different observations or you think hey i don't think that there's a correlation whatsoever you're just a crazy person and that's entirely plausible as well anyways I got this Thanos. Um, this was Spider-Man and Brother Voodoo, and it was $2.99. It's not in the greatest shape, but I loved it, and I wasn't going to let it sit there. I was like, and so I had store credit, so I wasn't going to be spending any money, but it's like I didn't want to spend all my store credit today because I wanted to save it up to get the most bang for my buck um, tomorrow. Um, but anyways, I just think this is so cool. It's awesome. And then the other one that I got, um, was Mr. Miracle. And it was actually kind of expensive. Mr. Miracle number 13. But, so it was $9.99. Um, uh, but again, I didn't pay actual money for it. I just had credit from other stuff I had traded in. But... Um, these go really fast, and people at the shop pick them up really quickly. And so I was just a little concerned that maybe, you know, somebody might scoop it before I get it. And I was just like, man, this is in really nice condition. I'd really like to have it. All right. After that, this is kind of one I want. It's a little play on words, but it's about, like, socioeconomics and comics and certain trends that I've observed. And mainly this is a trend between two different local well two different lcs stores but located in very economically distinct regions of town okay so there is an lcs that i go to that is very high income well it's in an area that there's a lot there's a high concentration of wealth there's a lot of wealthy people that live in that area and this is a comic shop where i believe that People that have a lot of money to throw out or away or people who have kids that can just kind of throw away money, they really demand the newest, most modern comics. And that's what this place to, you know provides. It has a huge array of new releases. Um, and, and honestly, that's the place where I find variants if there are any variants. Um, but they their back issues aren't just like sticking out they're all in drawers to where and they're packed like finger tight where you can't even like scroll and so i think they do themselves a disservice and really mostly do most of their sales in new issues and new back issues but they have quite an impressive um back issues log of say the last eight to ten months but it's like after that you know no um their wall comics are generally like i've seen a hulk uh immortal hulk number two the oldest book i've ever seen there was the mark of cain the batman mark of cain and that's relatively recent so their wall books are more recent keys and so that's the observations that I've made in my high-income area LCS that I that I visit. Um, the
the one that I visit more often and the one that has this 20% off sale is the one that's in the low income area. Um, so the thing is, is they don't have with new release day, every new comic book day, um, they really ha have slim pickings. And so that's why if I do want to get something or I'm really intent on picking something up, I'll either call the high income LCS and get them to pull one for me or I'll go and I'll visit it when I can. Um, but the thing is with this one, their back issue inventory is, oh, it's just, it's like a, a library. It's so, so wonderful and it has a really, it's got a lot of breadth and depth. Um, and, but the thing is, is their back issues can still be pricey. It just depends. It can be hit or miss, you know? And because they're not quite up on the keys, it's weird. Some things they can be like reasonably priced, some things are way overpriced, and then some things are really way underpriced. So you just have to use your own personal discretion. But the wall books that I see there are old school like action and detective and like early Avengers, early like, I mean, there are some moderns, but first it has probably like 20 times as many wall books as the high-end LCS and they're reasonably priced um, but it's just interesting so that these are the differences in an LCS that maybe so in a low income area you would say maybe okay they've got all these great books and they're kind of cheaper well, does that reflect the fact that maybe a lot of individuals that live in a low-income area are trying to get a little extra cash? They're bringing in these valuable books. They're probably not getting a lot of money off, uh, on them. And then these guys are selling the books for a slightly cheaper. That seems really reasonable to me. It also seems really reasonable to me that in the high-income areas, you've got a lot of expendable cash and you want the newest little you know, piece of crap comic that comes out so that's what I want to know is you, have you guys ever seen anything or observed anything like this or is there are there trends that you've sort of I don't know seen or made note of and and maybe I'm just being a, a weird nerd but I've kind of started seeing th this odd reflection of inventory and I really do think it has to do on uh, with the clientele and the, the socioeconomic um, uh, distribution of the individuals in that very like condensed region. Okay, so if you guys um, you know like this, hey, give me a like. Um, if you want to comment with your own personal anecdotes, please do. Um, I hope you guys have a great Fourth of July. Uh, you know, tomorrow's tomorrow's going to be about grilling hot dogs and burgers and eating potato salad and thanking your lucky stars that you don't need to see guns or tanks or military personnel to ensure that such an event will be safe and enjoyable. I'm just going to leave that in your head, but that's what freedom is. Freedom is the absence of military decorum. And with that, be safe. Bye.